Hello? Well, uh, uh, hello everyone. Excuse me for the for the delay. Been some time, but I was very busy, and I was not able uh, to uh, make this video, which uh, I will be showcasing to you all how you can play Fortnite on a VM. Yes, in a VM. Uh, well, as you can see here, you, you when you see it, you see that this is Windows, but actually this is not Windows. That is a VM, and uh, that is my system. So I'm using Arch Linux, and uh, these are my settings. So I have a Ryzen 9 uh, 5900X and I have split the number of cores to half and with two GPUs this is for the VM and this is for the host I'm still waiting for uh, kernel 6.7 in which I have done some experiments and uh, fan curve do work with the AMD 7000 series so that's going to be very useful really and uh, because then I can like lower the voltage and under volt and keep the card very quiet and very cool and I have split the memory to 16 to the VM 16 to the uh, host Okay, now what? How I am able to make uh, uh, to play Fortnite? Okay, so first I will make it very simple. This tutorial I will not explain to you how to do the PCIe bus through or uh, how to meant to to do a VM. I'm not going to do that, but uh, I have to show you uh, what I have done to make Fortnite works, or like to make uh, basically this this uh, system capable to pass uh, through uh, entire cheat. Well, as you can see here. I have passed through a uh, physical PCIe device, the NVMe, it is uh, passed through. So this, so the VM has uh, it is on uh, NVMe. So I'm not using any virtual disk. This is physical t disk passed through. Uh, also, the graphics card is passed through. Audio controller is also passed through. USB 3.1 is also passed through through the uh, I mean the one that is uh, the that's the USB type C and the graphics card but actually audio and mouse are actually uh, shared uh, they are shared between the VM and the host I'm not really using them uh, I do have a USB controller because uh, uh, sometimes I connect uh, uh, a game controller to the USB host controller, which is the, which is a, basically a PCIe card, it is also passed through. Yeah, so I have a PC, so the graphics card is passed through, a whole disk is passed through, and also a USB controller, a PCIe card is uh, passed. And uh, yeah, basically that is it. Uh, this is my XML. Uh, let me just show you the XML. Uh, the XML will be in the description. But it is a very regular XML actually. 
uh, like it has a huge uh, pages and the uh, CPU tune uh, I'm not gonna explain all of that actually uh, this is out of the scope of this video but one thing I have I have done it and uh, you I, I will also put the the links in the description you need to build your own ADK2 yes you need to build it by your own and then when you build it you need to uh, so you need to put the directory where this file obmf underscore code dash fd is uh, located in your system so for me i i have put it in my home directory then my name then logging family because i'm using arch linux and uh, i i like this name and then in, in that directory i have uh, uh, compiled uh, this version of adk dash com then you need to put it here and uh, you might also want to copy the features what else i have here and in the emulator, you also need to compile uh, UEMU system x86 underscore 64. So basically, you need to compile these two. Uh, everything else is uh, normal, and especially here. Uh, basically, here is for uh, uh, looking glass so don't really don't copy this uh, line it's irrelevant to you so basically you need to compile uh, like two files you need to compile them and uh, just let me pause for a bit and I will come back 